Hello everyone and welcome to Battle of the Beast All Generation episode number 113. I'm Adam and today we got two more beast fights out for our spot in round two. Uh, now with these two beasts, matchup seems a bit obvious but because of what this kind of matchup is and what it symbolises to previous battles but also I would say <laughs> solidifies a... Uh, I would say can put an end to a great debate that's been going on between me and Lucas. Um, <laughs> this debate's been going on for a few years now, so it it will end from this, trust me. Um, whilst I'll stand by my choices in the past from it that started it, I think this is a, a humorous way to end the debate. But anyway, let's get into this. Representing Series 11, The New Age, The Last Beast Standing. The killer of Koldo, the Arctic warrior, back in round one. We have Serpio, the Slivering Shadow. And representing the infinite group of specials. Let me just find their battle. Uh, the killer of Yakarix, the Ice Bear, back in round one. We have Kyrax, the Metal Warrior. So, Serpio versus Kyrax. Yeah, kind of obvious matchup. But, like I said, it's all in the enjoyment for it. Lucas is expecting a one sided victory where one gets mercilessly beaten. And, well, whilst I never really said I can't give him one, heck, if I, if I, I'll give him the best of one sided victory I can do. But, hey, I need to be fair, don't I? But let's get to the stats, shall we? So, Serpio the Silver and Shadow. Serpio has the body of a giant snake with scales that gleam in the darkness. He was created by the sorceress Kenza using the blood of Arx the mountain giant. And like that beast, he has only one eye, which glows brightly. He can breathe a hail of freezing water encasing his victims in ice. A special fact, Tom fought Serpio in a dark old mineshaft. Age, 0. Power, 284. Magic level, 180. Fright factor, 87. Size, 327. Oh, abilities. Ice body. Ice and venom breath. Uh, Serpio can spew out icy venom-like water from his mouth, uh, which is cold enough to freeze a person in place. A uh, person solid, sorry. <laughs> uh, flight. Told you he has flight. <laughs> uh, that's a little jab at Lucas there, but <laughs> ice resistant, natural weaponry, enhanced durability, uh, enhanced strength, borrowing, and 360 degree vision. Weakness, pierceable heart. Now, for Kyrax, we have this nearly invincible beast of Henkrow created by the wicked Igor to do his destructive bidding. Is brought to life by a drop of Tom's blood and quickly becomes a menace Eagle cannot control. So powerful is this warrior that Tom and Lena need to call Ferno for backup and also Tagus. But then again, who cares about Tagus? He doesn't last long in tournaments anyway. Uh, powers and abilities metal absorption, uh, body control. Uh, he can morph his, like the T3000, I think, in Terminator, T1000, one of them. Uh, can morph his uh, body parts into weapons or other stuff to help defend or attack, or even wings. Uh, flight. Told you. Uh, <laughs> metal regeneration. Uh, so Kyrax's body regenerates from most attacks, like being slashed by Tagus's blade and being burnt by Furnace Fire Breath. So he can absorb metal, but he can also regenerate his metal. So if he takes a hit, he can regenerate it. That, I'm going to say does count because it's not like he dies and he comes back to life no 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 no. he's actually healing as he works i did that with zirkin i could do it with kyrax lightning magic uh yeah this the website says it's to transport between realms and whilst we can do that i'm also using it to you letting him use it as an actual weapon so lightning powers <laughs> uh enhanced strength and enhanced durability there's also um an ability which myself and Lucas gave him in the special generation tournament, and I don't know if we have it in this tournament, but I'm gonna say it anyway. The golden armor powers. 
because he's made with the drop of Tom's blood and Tom has the power of the golden armor on his side. Golden armor powers. Okay. <laughs> As if this beast wasn't strong enough, right? I believe there's another beast which also has the golden armor power. Oh yeah, Jakara. Jakara also has the golden armor powers. Weaknesses is fire. If exposed to an excessive amount of fire, Kyrax begins to melt. Uh, so when slash if Kyrax goes against a fire-related beast, I'll need to check what's the melting temperature for metal, and that's what I'll go by. A beast weapon, so that's a blade, uh, so that's like Tagus' sword, dare I say soldier's whip, that might help. You know, a weapon that a beast holds, so Chikara's axe. <laughs> and heart destruction, heart Kyrax is killed when his heart is stabbed. So, like with all the beats in Series 11, it's pretty much Hankrowl in general. If you get stabbed in the heart, you're dead. You're, you're, just, you're, just, you're just dead. <laughs> Seriously, what, what is with these beats from Hankrowl having a weakness which, yes, is kind of expected, but why? Why is it all the same? Every beast from Hankrowl, they always have the, be a, the weakness being the heart. My weakness is my heart as well, but come on! <laughs> this is getting repetitive. Yeah, it only took me this long to realise. Right, so anyway. Serpio versus Kyrax. What kind of fun battlefield should we do today? Hmm. We got ice, but we also got metal. So I can't do hot, but I can't do cold. So... Actually, no, I can do cold. Let's do an icy, rocky terrain, shall we? So with that, close your eyes and weave your tail of how one beast skills another for one of those last precious spots in round three. Seriously, there's only four spots left, and one of the one of those spots is going to one of these two. So as the chamber doors open, both the beasts burst through the sky exit and instantly roar at each other. Serpio sends out the icy water venom breath towards Kyrax. Kyrax is just charging straight towards Serpio. He gets encased in the ice uh, almost immediately. But uh, whilst he's frozen in place, Kyrax uh, is able to morph his body on the inside, causing a bunch of spikes to propel through the ice. And then he uses his uh, strength to just burst through the ice. Serpio's eye widens by that and is greeted by Kyrax charging up towards Serpio wrapping his arms around his neck and pulling him down to the ground, smashing him into the ground. Uh, Serpio is able to get back up and about to start taking off in flight, what, but Kyrax is already way ahead of that, morphs his, uh, his hand, one of his hands into an axe and slashes right through one of Serpio's wings. Serpio roars in pain as he goes to attack and bite at Kyrax, but he morphs his uh, other hand into a giant hammer forcing it into Serpio's mouth, preventing Serpio from snapping down. Serpio goes to take his uh, tail and wrap it around Kyrax, but Kyrax is already way ahead of that, changes the axe into a... Uh, uh, keep, uh, changes the axe, uh, keeps the axe hand and brings it down right onto Serpio's tail. Serpio roars in pain as uh, his uh, tail has just been narrowly ch uh, cut a bit. And uh, Kyrax, keeping the hammer in his uh, mouth in shape, brings his hand down and smashes Serpio's head right into the ground again before taking his hand out and using the axe, re reforming the hand and hammer back into his hand before bringing the axe down on his other wing, slicing Serpio's other wing off. Serpio roars in pain and just looks up terrified at this behemoth who's just simply shown off what is incredible reaction timing and battle skills. Serpio is confused why Kyrax has shown so little mercy to a beast which is from his home realm. Serpio is able to get back up at full size to show off himself to Kyrax. I don't think... I didn't do Kyrax's uh, stats, did I? No, like the actual... Stop. It doesn't matter, but Serpio is so so much so many times Kyrax's size. 
Pyrax just stares up into Serpios' full glory. Serpio goes to bite down on him, but Pyrax reforms a, uh, a giant fist this time and uppercuts Serpio, knocking him backwards. And uh, what he does, what Pyrax does now, is force form his hand into a blade, into a sharp point like a chisel, stabs it into Serpio, uh, Serpio's chest, and reforming into a hammer. Starts banging his hand into Serpio's ice, almost like chipping away at the ice. Serpio roars in pain and rolls aside to avoid that chisel getting into his heart. Kyrax roars in anger, knowing that Serpio finally had the nerve to do something about all the damage that's been done to him, and chases up after Kyrax, uh, grown wings, and just catching up to him, wrapping his arms around Serpio's neck and just bringing him down to the ground again well, well forcing him down to the ground pushing him along the ground into every rock that comes that comes in their comes in uh Kyrax's path where they get to the arena wall Serpio is feeling very beaten up cracks are starting to form over his face Kyrax picks up Serpio's head and keeps smashing it repeatedly into the wall uh, the audience members are shocked by just how mercilessly Kyrax is being to Serpio. Kyra Kyrax then decides that he's going to do something that the audience members have never done before. He summons up a ball of lightning in his hand, shoots it towards the wall, creating a portal to what looks like a very warm environment, almost like Stonewind Volcano. The spectators can feel the heat from the volcano coming right inside because it's right in the heart of the volcano. And what Kyrax does is something that no one was expecting. He f picks up Serpio's head with all his strength and just chucks Serpio right in there, pushing, literally pushing every part of his gigantic snake like body into the volcano, into the volcano. As Serpio plunges into the volcano, not being able to fly away or anything, as the roars of pain coming from Serpio steadily just becomes lava bubbling, as the ice turns into water and the water sizzles on contact with the lava. Kyrax uh, then go and with his hand holding up the portal, shuts, closes his hand, and then opens it back up again, waves it aside, and the portal disappears with Serpio inside. And Kyrax makes his way back to his chamber with uh, the gladiator pose, saying, Are you not entertained by this? And honestly, <laughs> the crowd just starts cheering, seeing a kill which has never been done before. And just seeing this mercilessness on a beast which Kyrax should have no problem with whatsoever. Kyrax makes his way back to his chamber. But right before he goes into the chamber, he spies the last little bit of Serpio's tail. And, what's, and what Kyrax does is just shoot a bolt of lightning towards it and it explodes into millions of pieces before he goes into his chamber, ready for round three. Uh, so with that, <laughs> Kyrax has won, Serpio has lost. If you think Serpio should have won, please come to the Think about how are my words final and Kyrax is moving on to round three. <laughs> Uh, so with that, Series 11 has been eliminated from the tournament. Uh, I know that Lucas is going to be happy to hear that. <laughs> but uh, being honest, come on. Like, the matchup seemed interesting, but there was nothing Serpio can do against Kyrax. I mean, Kyrax has been established as a very powerful beast in the Special Generation tournament, has been established as a very powerful beast in his book, and not to mention, whilst may have having an ego, Kyrax knows how to put on a show. Uh, <laughs> and that kill was probably one of the most unique kills I've ever done in a tournament before. I'm going to have a hard time topping that one, but... I don't know if Lucas is actually watching these videos anymore, but if he does, I'd love to know his reaction to this kill on a beast which I know he doesn't like. So, yeah, Lucas doesn't like Serpio at all. Uh, and I assume for two reasons. One, it comes from his least favorite series being Series 11. 
fair enough. Series 11 isn't the best story-wise, so I agree there. But also because Serpio killed Silver in the old generation tournament in round 3. Well, while well, Silver didn't make it to round 3 either, but Serpio this time died uh, as well. I think uh, it give it would, this battle would give Lucas some satisfaction that Serpio was killed in probably one of the most brutal, one-sided, merciless ways which I've created a death for a beast. So uh, if Lucas is satisfi- satisfied, please let me know. <laughs> but if all of you are satisfied with that, with that one-sided uh, battle, let me know as well. Uh, but with that, that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press the notification bell down in the down form below. If you think Kyrex is going to win due to how overpowered this beast is, please let me know. <laughs> and with that being said, that's all for this time. I'll see you next time.